Welcome back. Well, an hour before the May jobs report came out yesterday, the president tweeted he was excited to see the numbers. The report was excellent, an 18-year low in the unemployment rate, but the media made it all about that tweet. Listen. A lot of people scratching their heads about why the president decided to tweet about it beforehand. Why would the president tell all of America to look at the jobs numbers if the jobs numbers were not good? He was so eager to trumpet the news, he broke years of presidential protocol. Who needs insider trading when you can get the cheat sheet directly from the president? That's hardly the first time the president has broken the rules when it comes to sharing sensitive, sometimes even classified information. So well. he broke the rules. You're going to react to all of this. The host of Varney & Co. on Fox Business, Stuart Varney. Yes. That wasn't the big yeah. story yesterday, though. The big no. story was the numbers, the jobs that came out. That is what the Absolutely. American people care about. The media wants you to be distracted from the very good news about the economy. We got that great news at 8.30 yesterday. No matter what the president hinted beforehand, it was great news. And the media just wanted to distract and divert attention away from the news on jobs. But it was and insider trading, Stuart. Oh, stop it. Yeah. You know, yeah, so, come on, son, get but out of here. But there is a protocol, Look. and you're not supposed to break that. We should acknowledge that. Yes, now, but did he break it? Uh, well, he, he merely hinted he that hinted it might it. be okay. Right. He got the news beforehand. Obviously. Okay, and yeah. he tweeted the White House always about gets it, it the night looking before. forward so, to the good news. So then it becomes and, all about the that's process. not the story. Yes. That is not the story. Look at this. The story is 3.8% unemployment, lowest in a generation. You've never seen that in this generation. 3.8%. 5.9%. Mm -hmm. That's the unemployment rate for black folks. Mm -hmm. That is an all time low. It's never been down at that level before. Same story for Hispanics. 223,000 new jobs created. You're on the road to prosperity. No, Isn't not according to Nancy story? Pelosi. No, Nancy <laughs> Pelosi said, look, look at this. May's jobs report shows that strong employment numbers mean little to the families hit with soaring new costs under the Republicans' watch. Remember, first she was talking about crumbs with the tax cut. I remember. Now she's saying, these job numbers don't help anybody. Is that insulting? Well, I don't know about insulting, but it's a message of desperation, isn't it? They don't have, the Democrats do not have a growth plan. They don't have one. So they have to criticize the president's growth plan because it is working. And it is working. You know, the president came to office saying, I'm going to make America great again. And the keystone to that whole operation was deregulate and lower taxes. He did both, and now we're seeing the fruits of that. What is she referring to there, though, in that comment, when well, she says it is going up for some families? You could make the argument that gasoline prices are up a little. That is true. You can make the argument that mortgage rates are up a little. That is accurate. Mm -hmm. you could, she could make the argument that health care costs are rising, but that's not because of President Trump. That is because of Obamacare lingers on in our economy. So she's looking for the lemons in the lemonade, uh, which, of course, she would do <laughs> being in, in the minority. But when she, they do have a growth plan. It's a government growth plan. I mean, her view is we yeah, solve but, these problems oh. by growing government programs for people. Stop it, Peter. It's a growth <laughs> plan. It. It's a growth <laughs> plan. Yeah, yeah. That growth plan is tax and spend. Of course. It does not produce growth. It produces a stable, no, I'm not going to say stable economy, certainly not. It produces virtually no growth for a long period of time. The best we got in the eight years of tax and spend Obama years was 2%. That's all we got. We've now had 15 months of the Trump economy, and we've got 3% growth. And I think we've got a very good shot at going to 4% growth mm. by the end of this year. Yeah, you know, I was, look, I was looking at numbers last night just to compare where we are. You forget back in October 2009, 10% unemployment. How far oh. we've come. You oh, know? sure. We've come a very, very long way, yeah. especially in the last 15, 16 months of the Trump presidency. We are on the road to prosperity. The Democrats cannot admit that going into the November elections. All right. Stuart yeah, Barney, appreciate it. Oh, Thanks, thank you.